After my recent video in which I spoke about human sacrifice as being an abomination to God, a Christian missionary who I actually respect very much for being a very kind and sincere person and who is willing to engage with the text, reached out to me and said, but wait a minute, there are sources in the Bible that speak of human sacrifice of innocence as vicarious atonement. And she sent me two stories inside of the Tanakh. So in the coming videos, I'm going to address those two stories. I'm going to flesh them out, give you the full picture of exactly what's happening there and explain how it absolutely does not speak of vicarious atonement. And in fact, it proves the point that I want to make about who God is and what he wants. Now, there's a very important point that we have to address here. You see, this missionary is resorting to a common missionary tactic of looking for obscure sources inside of the Torah, the Bible, trying to find a way to prove their point when we have graphic text inside the Torah, such as Deuteronomy 19.10, that innocent blood shall not be shed, and Ezekiel 18 that says, the righteousness of the righteous man shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked man shall be upon him, and that the innocent cannot die for the sake of the wicked. Let's stop and even just think about this rationally. Imagine a man rapes a five-year-old girl, and at the court case, she is given the death penalty and he walks scot-free. Your morality is not screaming out that this is completely skewed and that the innocent should not suffer for the sins of the guilty, then the only thing that I can say is that darkness has a far deeper hold on you than you realize. And I pray that you actively get yourself out of that darkness. Let's address these two stories in the coming video 